But the blatant truth is no matter what anybody else thinks, it really doesn't fucking matter. No matter what anybody says, it's not their responsibility to help me solve my own problems, you know? So I have a bit of hate when it comes to social media because it's a giant echo chamber filled with yes men. And that's kind of something that I had to come to terms with, especially when I first graduated high school. Uh, I, I had to take a step back and analyze my social media and be like, oh, yeah, this is a hive of yes men and I want to get the hell out of Dodge. And TikTok is kind of the same when it comes to having that a little echo chamber. It's, it's filled with Yas Queen, Slay, you're so beautiful, skinny legend. Sorry, I hit the mic. Um, they, they, it's, filled, it's filled with people who just give out endless, endless, endless yes men and endless support without any criticism. And the moment somebody faces criticism, it's hate. You know, you can criticize someone without hating them. Sometimes I criticize people because I genuinely care and I want them to grow. But that's not how it's seen in the world of social media, especially when in a world of social media that is led by yes men. That being said, I was on TikTok the other day <laughs> and I came across the schizophrenic hippies, uh, one of his newer videos. I think his name is Cody and uh, he talks about a very interesting subject. And I find that when it comes to Cody's or the schizophrenic hippies um, whole TikTok account, it's not filled with yes men. You know, it's, it's it has a very wide variety of people who say i'm so sorry people who say you're faking it people who, who criticize him people who say oh you could do this to improve or you know it's a community where people support each other but they also criticize each other and i think that's an amazing thing because too much of social too much of social media social media is <laughs> filled with a gigantic echo chamber whether it be because of your politics or your beliefs or anything like that it's an echo chamber but regardless this is the video that i'm going to be talking about today if you have a serious mental illness, tell me about one of the craziest things people have ever said to you about said illness. I'll go first. As most of you know, hopefully all of you, I have schizophrenia. And before I ever got big on social media, I actually had a local pastor tell me that I needed an exorcism to get rid of my demons. Cause, cause he thought that's what my schizophrenia was. He also said my mom was going to hell because she refused to get an exorcism for her schizophrenia, so. So that was an interesting video because I'm the person who has also experienced something very similar. When I first, oh, let me let me explain what I am or how, how what the hell's wrong with my brain. So, I have two anxiety disorders. Uh, I used to be an alcoholic. I um, suffered with an eating disorder for a little while, a couple months, uh, and I also have a. I'm just gonna slide this under the rug. I have a schizophrenic, um, psychotic schizophrenic disorder on the schizophrenia spectrum. That's kind of a big thing to drop right <laughs> right now, but that, that's gonna be the main focus point of this video. I experienced something known as psychosis because of my psychotic disorder. Psychosis is a break from reality, where I experience things that are not based in reality, or I, you know, I, I see things that aren't based in reality, I hear things that aren't based in reality. Sometimes I have extreme paranoia and anxiety. Sometimes I have very low depression, and high, uh, very low motivation and high depression. Sometimes I get extremely paranoid and sometimes I believe that parts of my body are missing when, I'm, when they're literally still attached to my body, which is a delusion. In the medical field, it's categorized by hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, anxiety, stuff like that. Um, but regardless, I, when I first started telling people about my mental illness, they were very, people were very supportive. And I appreciate their opinions, you know? I appreciate the different points of view. I, I genuinely think that they're interesting. But something that I've learned is the fact that, yeah, it doesn't really matter what anybody thinks. You know, I may like what they're telling me. I may enjoy hearing another point of view. I may enjoy entering this whole new world of spirits and ghosts and stuff like that. I may enjoy um, just sitting down and listening to somebody that I genuinely like and listening to them talk about what they're passionate about. And I find that that is helpful in, an, in and of itself in its own little way. But the blatant truth is no matter what anybody else thinks, it really doesn't fucking matter. No matter what anybody says, it's not their responsibility to help me solve my own problems, you know? I need to solve my own problems because I'm the only person who's responsible for my happiness. Let me say that again. 
I am the only person responsible for my happiness. Same thing goes for everybody else. The only person responsible for your happiness is yourself. Now, whether that be achieved through uh, whatever ritual that you want to do or whatever um, person you want to talk to, whether that be a spirit guide or a psychiatrist, <laughs> you know, whatever it may be, at the end of the day, their job is to give you tools to help you move forward. And I like to practice something known as radical acceptance. Radical acceptance is accepting something no matter the circumstance or the reason. When it comes to um, many things, uh, death maybe, maybe a family member died, you need to accept that, you need to move forward with that. You're not going to sit down and let it rule your life, you're going to move forward with it. You can sit down for a while, but you're not going to stay down. And I think that's one of the most important things when it comes to my psychotic disorder. I need to be able to take everything in stride and move forward. So yeah, that was my little spiel. I know it's a little bit of a shorter video and uh, yeah, I recorded this video like five, six times and I, I, I don't know. If you're in an emergency, I have emergency links down below. If you want to DM me, my social medias are down below and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Ohuiho, malamo pono.